welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a few things I have picked up from ASOS and Topshop and my dogs are in here and making noise and being really distracting if you can hear weird scratching sounds. Um, yeah, I'm going to Ibiza on Monday so I picked up a few things and I thought I would talk you through them. I haven't picked up like a massive amount of stuff. Um, I could have gone really full on on the Instagrams for this trip because the hotel is like pastel coloured everything so I could have gone like ham and gone pastel coloured everything clothing to go with it but I really just wanted to buy a few things that would be perfect for Ibiza and that were really cool and that I really wanted to add to my wardrobe but that I would also wear when I got home as well. So I have an ASOS order that I have unboxed and then I have a few things that I still need to unbox and then I also have some bits from like a couple like three bits from Topshop um, so I'm going to talk you through all of those. I think we should get to the like unwrapping thing first because I always feel like that's the funnest bit. So this is a very square package so it's obviously a pair of shoes. I decided to pick these up. I couldn't tell if they were going to be too high or not but I really wanted a pair of shoes that I could wear for nights out for, with more like summery outfits because I love my YSL um, tribute platform um, like sandals and if they're in like a black suede they're amazing they're perfect for like really like wow outfits but not for every outfit on a night out so how many times can I say so in a video I picked up these these are very high black platform wedges they've got a nice tie bit around the ankle and I just thought they'd be perfect for like a more summery evening outfit so with like a skirt um that is it that is a bit like linen-y or something like that so it's not like super super dressy I just thought they would be perfect so I'm really excited to try those on okay so these are the wedges I'm actually not so sure on these I may just stick with the one pair of wedges I already own but the only problem is they aren't black so I'm a bit worried about wearing them out at night i'm not sure i am not sure what do we think please ignore my dog's fluff she is just molting like crazy um yeah i just can't decide i just think there's something about like a tie ankle which is just not the most flattering um yeah let me know what you think because i just think like most shoes look good with this like flowy caftan and this does not look good so yeah i'd love your thoughts let me know um Oh no, this is going up on Monday. You can't let me know because I'll be in the air. Oh. Uh, this is probably going to be a no. It's probably going to be a no then. Next, we have things that are not shoes. So, I think I've got a lot of skirts. Basically, I had a look through my wardrobe and I realised that I was really lacking in things like skirts and summery trousers. And most of you will know if you've been watching my videos for the majority of this year, I love trousers so much and I'm really... I did feel a bit lost at the beginning of summer in the fact that I couldn't wear trousers. But I have some great outfits lined up that do involve trousers for Ibiza. But I just saw some nice summery skirts and trousers on ASOS that I really liked and wanted to try out. So here we are. Okay, so first we have these linen-y type trousers. They're just white. Um, they're a little bit see-through, so they're like perfect for like when, you, when you're just wearing like bikinis and stuff like that. Like I don't really mind if stuff is see-through if it's just for bikinis. Um, and they've got these little buttons on the side, which are quite cute. They're like brown little buttons. I wonder if you can undo these. Oh yeah, you can. That's so cool. So you can have like the side split. Um, it kind of stops here and the hip fit is up here. Um, but you can have the side split going like really, really far up, which I think is really cool. It just creates really nice movement um, to like any kind of item. And I think that it makes something that is could be a little bit unsexy, just look a little bit more sexy. So these are the white linen trousers. I quite like these. I have definitely got to wear them with heels. I can't wear these with flats because they are so, so long. They literally just skim the ground um, when I've got my heels on. But um, yeah, I've paired them with this bikini top. But you could easily wear like a body underneath. This would go really nicely over like a swimming costume as well. Um, so I do feel like for holidays it's quite nice and versatile but I also feel like for the UK now that it's like heat wave time I definitely think that you could get away with like a little body or like a cami or a crop top or something like that even like a bandeau top and this would look really really nice and I just love the kind of like I just love how it looks I really I've undone the buttons so the slit kind of goes all the way up and I just think it looks really really cool and from the side on you get the pop of leg but then straight on it's kind of like elongating as well because um I've got like heels on and then it's just like 
super long. I'm not doing a very good job at explaining why it's elongating, but I just do find from the front it is quite elongating. And yeah, I really like it. This is a winner for me, I think. It's cute. I think it, would, it could do with a belt around the middle, but I just don't really know what kind of belt I have. I think if I was wearing this for like an evening dinner out on holiday, I've got like a metal gold belt that goes around your waist and I think that could look quite cool um, especially when I'm wearing lots of gold jewellery as well I think that would look kind of cool but um, yeah I think for daytime like either a brown belt or just leave it as it is um, it's really really cute so yeah I think these are a winner they're cool and then we have this is a skirt this is a wrap skirt I think I'm gonna really like this I have high hopes for this so this is just a really cute almost like linen cotton type um, wrap skirt and it's got like this nice big slit at the front i'm really excited to try that on i love my um i've got like a white denim skirt that has a bit of a like slit in it as well and i really really love that so i'm excited to have something that is a little bit more like floaty and less stiff um i'm just i really like having like white things on your bottom half even though it's like terribly impractical so i can't wait to see what that looks like on okay so i kind of love this one and i kind of don't it's very beach appropriate. I don't actually think that I could wear it on an everyday basis in the UK. It's very see-through. I've left my bikini bottoms on underneath so you can see, because they're black, just how see-through it is. Um, but I do think this is very cute and beach appropriate, perfect for holiday. It's a really nice like linen material. The slit on the front is like super nice and flattering. It is white and it's quite a... It's not a super bright white, but it is quite bright. So I don't think it's like the most flattering. However, I do think it's cute. And I think actually if I had like a white bikini top on, it would look even better with this. Um, it's a bit long, but I'm just gonna see if I can take that up. I say I will ask one of my parents to do it because uh, I am not a domestic goddess. Um, but I've just paired it with this Urban Outfitters bikini top. I really like the brown and white and the mixture of that with the skirt. Um, and then I've popped this Topshop bag with it as well. Um, yeah, it's kind of cute. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, and then we have a leopard print skirt. I have high hopes for this. This was not cheap. I can't remember what brand it's from. Gesto? Gesto. Gesto. Made from recycled plastic bottles. That's cool. So again, this has a nice slit down it. It doesn't have a particularly um, high slit. I kind of wish that it had a bit more of a slit. You can't be too choosy sometimes. It's got a bit of a lining underneath as well. So this is definitely something that could be worn on holiday, but also be worn in the UK. It's not like terribly see-through. Um, I'm excited to try this on. I'm interested to see how it's gonna look. I really like leopard print at the moment. I think it's just a really nice, um, it's got a nice like earthy tone to it. And I like lots of like neutrals. Um, it's the perfect like print that isn't a bright print. Um, so it's just like, it's very pleasing to me. So next up we have the leopard print skirt, which I have paired with this just like plain bandeau top from ASOS. Um, this skirt I may order in a small because there is a lot of extra room and I kind of want it to sit nicely around my waist like I think it just looks really flattering at that point and if I wear it lower down it just I don't know it could be okay I don't know I just feel like that is not where I wanted this to sit um, I also wish that the side split was like a little bit higher because that would be cool but you can't have everything so yeah, I'm just trying to decide. I think I will keep this because I really, really like it. And I think it's a really nice day to evening piece, which I think is what I was going for with a lot of these items is so that I can wear them during the day, throw them on with a bikini, but still go out um, in them and just feel really like comfortable and relaxed rather than having to get like super, super dressed up. It's just a lot more chill this way. So yeah, that is this skirt. It's quite expensive, so I kind of feel like I should size down in it just to get it absolutely perfect but I'll see if they've got more sizes but yeah that's what it looks like and you can see there's the under layer a little bit there um but yeah would love to know your thoughts on this are you liking the leopard print trend are you not would actually love your thoughts because I personally love leopard print when it's just done I like it mixed with like blacks and browns and lots of other neutrals I would love to know your thoughts though because I know it's like definitely a Marmite item so yeah, let me know. I also 
also had a pair of sunglasses as well in that order, which I think have just slipped out onto the floor somewhere. And I'm not sure where they are, but I'll put a little cutaway of me wearing them. Um, I really like those sunglasses. I think they're really, really cute. Um, and then we're going to move on to swimwear. Picked up some new bikinis. I haven't tried these on yet, so we will see how they look. Um, the first is actually a swimming costume. So it has um two like long straps which go down into a v um and then it's got this kind of like ruched section around the front it's really really hard to show you because swimmer just looks like nothing when it's not on um but yeah i think this is really cute it's very um like kind of like chic and just really simple and i really like that um so i'll show you what that looks like on now so here we have bikini number one i have some really dodgy tan lines which um i will have just pointed out and now it's probably going to drive you all mad but yeah I love this swimming costume. It's got this like really nice, nice ruched bit here, which I think is really cute. And it just fits perfectly. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, it's just very, very cute and really, really simple, but I don't know, I just really like it. So this one gets a thumbs up from me. It's definitely gonna be coming with me. And then I have just a white crinkle top, one of these like kind of one size fits everyone bikinis. Um, I got this in white, I have it in black and in like a neon pink as well. But I love white bikinis, especially in like peak summer. And I think for Ibiza, like white bikinis are like the one. Um, and then I've got some high-waisted bottoms. Don't know how I feel about those, but you know, we'll see. So this is the white bikini, really nice and simple. It's so comfortable. Um, and I prefer these just for like lounging around in the sun versus like the swimming costumes, which are a bit more special. And I think they're perfect for Ibiza when you're doing like beach, not beach parties, like pool parties and stuff like that where you kind of want to look dressed up but you don't really it's hot and you don't actually want to be wearing much clothing so those ones are more for that this is more for just like hanging around by the pool because it's just so comfortable I love these um so yeah I quite like the high-waisted bikini bottoms I think they're quite nice I don't know I've always feel a bit in two minds about them but I think I think I can deal with this one I like it um, and I like the white as well I just think it looks really good with like all of the gold jewelry and everything very basic not much else to report but yeah I really like this one then we have this swimming costume which I'm holding upside down which is clever of me um, it's like a tie around the neck swimming costume so it's gonna be really hard to actually hold this up and hang on it's like a tie around the neck swimming costume very similar in style to the black one that I just showed. But instead of ruching, it's got this band across the front, which I love. It's got like a gold and gray detailing to it, which I think is really, really cool. And I just love the tones in it. Um, again, I feel like it's very like ibiza e, And it's got these little tassels as well, which I think is really, really cute. Um, so I'm very excited to try that one. And swimming costume number two. I love this one. I think this might be potentially my one of my favorite swimming costumes I've ever owned. It wasn't too expensive and it just feels really like special and kind of not really swim appropriate but it just looks so cute and I absolutely love it. I think this would look really cute with like a little pair of shorts or maybe even with like a high-waisted skirt over the top if you just wanted to like throw something on over it. And then I did let one pastel thing slip in because I couldn't not. Um, this is more for Instagram than anything else. Um, but I got this bikini top which is in like a baby pink and it's got all of these like embellishments on it which I think is really cute and it's just it's even though it's pastel it's very ib3 because it's all like embellished and really really cool so I think it kind of ties in the hotel that I'm going to be staying in but like keeps a little bit of like what I would call typical Ibiza style it ties both in quite nicely um so I've got bottoms as well which are high-waisted again we'll see how this goes the one thing that I'm not keen on with these is that the um embellishments actually make a butterfly and i was like oh cringe vom don't know how i feel about that it doesn't do that on the top the top's much cooler um so we shall see i might just keep the bikini top and send the bottoms back because i don't need to have the bottoms i could wear these with shorts so this is the bikini top that's got all the embellishments on it i've actually decided that i'm not going to be trying on the bottoms because i want to send them back um i'm just going to wear them with these white bikini bottoms um i don't really love matching bikinis and stuff like that anyway i know some people are very very hot on that and you have to have everything matching but for me i just really didn't like the embellishment on the bottom half so i'm going to send that back and just wear this i'll probably wear it with shorts and things like that anyway so um, yeah, it's one of those more dressy pieces that I don't really feel like I'm actually going to go swimming in or anything like that So it's more of a I'm treating it more like a little crop top, but I just think it's so cute The embellishments on it are really nice. Um, one thing I would say with 
anything like this is to size up if you are ever in doubt because they don't have as much give to them um, as a normal bikini top would and you can end up popping off and things like that so if in doubt size up and then I picked up a few bits from Topshop the first one being this this is more for nights out um, so it's just like a nice little like wrap around top just really really simple long sleeved which may kill me but I thought for the evenings I would wear this in the UK as well in the evening so it's kind of like not a Ibiza specific um, item but I thought it would pair really nicely with these which are a lot more statement and in your face and can look tacky very very easily so I just feel like the um, like satiny material like loose wrap around top would really like make this look a lot more um, sophisticated as sophisticated as leopard print can look um, but yeah I thought it was a really nice way of um, styling this so I'll show you those together so this is my little leopard print and like blouse outfit I love this um, basically I have just tucked this in it has a little bit of a frill and it kind of like goes out in like peplum style which is cute but just not for this look because I really wanted like the silhouette of cinched in waist with the high-waisted shorts so um, yeah I've just tucked the bottom of the shirt into the shorts and it worked quite well like you can see it a little bit at the back but I'm not too fussed about it so yeah the shorts are super super stretchy so they will like shrink and uh, shrink and unshrink, what's the word? Expand with your food baby. So that's that's great because that's what I'm gonna need when I'm away because I'm gonna eat all the food and drink all the fizzy drinks and just go completely nuts. So yeah, that is this little outfit. I'm so happy with it. It looks really, really cute. Like I will put up with being like a little bit too warm for the sake of this outfit because it's just really cute. And I will wear this definitely when I come back as well. This is not a holiday only outfit because it's just perfect. Like I would wear this on a night out in the UK. Absolutely love it. And then finally, I picked up a bag from Topshop because I can't resist a basket bag. And this one is actually a lot more like flexible than the other one that I had. So I feel like this one is gonna be better um, for day to day because it's just got a lot more like movement to it. I can get in it much, much easier. I don't, I don't scratch myself on it as much as well because it's a lot um, softer. Um, and it's just really pretty. It's got this leather strap that comes on it as well which I don't really plan on using I just carry my basket bags like this um, but I just think it's beautiful and I really like the style of it they also do it in black um, I will link it if I can but I know these are selling out quite quickly so that is going to be it for me today this is everything that I've kind of like picked up for Ibiza and I'm going to be mixing it in with already existing pieces in my wardrobe do keep your eyes peeled because there will be a what I wore on Ibiza video coming up and maybe a vlog as well not really sure I really hope you've enjoyed this video as always and I'll see you guys again in my next one bye